hello and welcome back in this lecture we will be learning about encryption for data at rest by taking about Microsoft Azure SQL database always encrypted options before we jump into Microsoft SQL database always encryption options let's understand what exactly encryption for data at rest these days the amount of the information business organizations creates and collects are increasing continuously and whether your organization is a small or a large if you do not understand your information and its purpose and its value and it's risky you cannot fully protect it the value of the data at a local enterprise storage or maybe on a cloud like this Azure or maybe on backup tapes in use uh, encryption data at rest is one component in data security program so data security is not just data at rest encryption it is a total operation program driven by strategies and managed by process operated through clear uh, procedures and monitors by audit process in order to protect information uh, for assets encryption is one of the piece of data security strategy so in this lecture we will be learning about data encryption at rest for the SQL database always encrypted is a client level feature and it's configured in SQL Server Management Studio using uh, using a always encrypted wizard so let's try to connect to the SQL Server first and if you see here uh, before I enter the password, uh, maybe I can show you in the options. You have an option called Always Encrypted. You can use this option, which is a client level feature as we just discussed. In this demo, we will be using a wizard to encrypt the uh, specific column. So let's point to the database. This is the database which is in a cloud and if I just go back to tables and this is where I have a table for example a table called a uh, persons so I'll just select uh, top uh, rows whatever the information was stored and if you see here I have email ID email ID which is very important for me which I shouldn't be uh, showing outside maybe just for the regulatory purpose uh, as the I wanted this column to be completely encrypted also I just wanted I think that this could be your phone number uh, which is a column or maybe other critical information that also you wanted as to be encrypted so what we can do is now we can use a wizard which encrypts um, by using always encrypted wizard and we can use this wizard to encrypt the entire database or individual columns let's click on database a specific the table and click on specific to the encryption columns this is where you're going to actually click and then the wizard gets started so click on that and wait for a 30 seconds or so based on the connectivity speed and then you get that wizard so once we have the wizard we need to choose the encryption type so this is a just the wizard either you can uh, skip this by default by choosing that otherwise just click on next now what are the rules you wanted to encrypt let's say I want address and also I wanted the city to be encrypted once we choose the different uh, required table rows or uh, columns uh, that to be encrypted I need to choose the type of the encryption so within this down I have the two options one is deterministic and other one is uh, randomized so if I choose the uh, deterministic uh, type of encryption it supports the equality uh, lookups and joins and group buying uh, whereas random randomized does not uh, do all these so uh, I'll have to choose one of them uh, for each uh, so that I can demonstrate this and once the once I have chosen this I can click on uh, next so once we click on next uh, we have to choose here the master key configuration this master key will be auto generated and this value should be stored uh, maybe the better way would be storing into Azure Key Vault. So if you have not yet created a Key Vault, just create it and then click on sign up so that uh, it will automatically create 
a value within the Azure Key Vault and uh, if you see here the Azure Key Vault is completely uh, nothing here so let me actually sign in here so once I sign in here I should be able to uh, pull up my required Key Vaults so I'll just click on that uh, my sign in so I just logged in so now it should any point of time it should actually pull up my uh, subscription so I have multiple subscriptions so I'll just uh, use my right subscription where I have the uh, as your keyword so now the key vault is key vault encryption vault is the key vault name so if I just go to the portal and show you uh, this is a key vault that I have so within this key vault I need to actually grant the access policies where uh, for my account I need to have the encryption specific um, value should be there so if you see here the 16 uh, permissions granted uh, for myself so in your case if you have not it done you may have to you know consider to choose the cryptographic uh, uh, specific operation specific permission should be granted to verify encrypt or deny or decrypt or whatever the permissions are really needed so in my case I have granted myself everything so so that this demo uh, I can uh, show you where it's going to actually create a secret uh, name uh, within the keyword so let's uh, let's go back to the wizard uh, where we are so yeah that's a wizard so i'll just click on next so that uh, if you see here um, that's my keyword and now what it is trying to do is it's gonna actually uh, create a uh, a PowerShell uh, script if you want so that you can run later point otherwise uh, you can proceed further now so I wanted to run right now so I'll just click on finish uh, so that it's gonna create so if you see here it actually gonna create a key called uh, CK underscore auto one within my Azure keyword and you see here uh, this is also getting stored all this like master key storing under same ck underscore r two one and also the other columns that we are trying to encrypt like address and city so let's click on finish this might take maybe a five to ten minutes time and it might ask you to again sign in uh, so that it actually creates the the specific key within your azure key vault service so master key got created and uh, it's passed all that information this might take maybe a five to ten minutes time so I'll just pass and continue and once I'm back I should be able to show you uh, the values that are encrypted by running the same query and if you see here uh, within the Azure key vault uh, you have a key called CMK auto one key got created and with a current version of the one uh, value and then uh, if we just go back to this is the key which just got created and uh, within our Azure key vault and if I just go back to the wizard uh, still it is actually processing so it got actually created these um, CMK underscore auto one any point of time it has finished yeah it just got finished and if I just run the same query so this address and the city should be a uh, encrypted value should show so I'll just execute and you see here this got um, address and city got completely encrypted what if if you wanted to you know view the actual values so you can you know connect uh, again with uh, your studio management tool and just this time under options you have the additional connection parameters um, that's where actually you can use the a, a command uh, called column encryption settings equivalent enable so once you use that actually you can view the address and uh, and the city in a completely uh, unencrypted method that's a plain a plain text format so this is how it's gonna work and you can use these methods to secure your uh, SQL database uh, complete tables and also the entire database also can be encrypted if really needed thank you for watching this I'll catch you in the next lecture